Hello, hello, hello again. So, I decided to make a video on uh, some items that I have that I plan on selling. And the reason why I've come to the conclusion that I want to go in and sell them or give them away. Well, I've already tried to give one of them away and then end up getting it back. <laughs> Um, items I plan on selling and then other items that I'm not selling and I'm going to go into why uh, mainly the reason why I decided to do this video uh, is that you know sometimes you just change your mind it's just simple as that sometimes you think you like something the way it looks on someone else or the way it looks on a website or even when you um, compare it to things you already have think oh yeah that's going to work for me and then it's like, mm, nah, uh, doesn't work out. Another reason why uh, sometimes, you know, like it just doesn't work out. In other instances, it's not that it didn't work out. Uh, well, no, I guess it is. It Bottom line of it, things just didn't work out. Um, the reasoning behind them not working out is where I think there's a bit of a difference. So I have two sets here. These, these are the, I'll start over here. These are the items that I am selling. Not the Twilly, I should have thought about that, but. <laughs> these are the pieces that I'm selling. I have a couple of Bulgari bracelets, a Louis Vuitton bracelet, a couple of Chanel rings, and a Tiffany ring. You can see the little close up. So these are Chanel love rings. And that's a Chanel Atlas ring with diamonds. And this is the Louis Vuitton uh, Bee Blossom with diamonds and onyx. And this is Bulgari. This is a B01 uh, one element bracelet. Uh, there's This is a Bulgari, um, oh my goodness, Fiorever bracelet with diamond. And of course, this is, for a while, I thought was my beloved <laughs> uh, Alma MM bag. So, this is what I'm selling. This is what I'm keeping. <laughs> and not so much, so much what I'm keeping. I really wanted to point out the difference. Because if you look, like I'm selling one Alma bag, but I'm keeping another one. I'm selling certain Bulgari jewelry, but I'm keeping others. I'm selling certain... Louis Vuitton jewelry, but keeping others. And actually, I'm selling all the Cartier and Tiffany stuff. <laughs> I'm not keeping anything by them. But when I got to going and thought about, huh, why am I selling versus what, why am I keeping other things? Um, I think this is helping me really refine my, my style, really hone in on my style. Uh, major reason number one is I like substantial pieces as far as um, fine jewelry. So... These bracelets are beautiful and they look good in pictures. But when I'm just wearing them and nothing for Instagram, nothing for a video, and I'm just wearing them, yeah, they're okay, but nothing fabulous. Whereas, also by Bulgari, I have these B01 necklaces that are much more substantial, and I have B01 rings that are much more substantial. And I just love them. I, I love them. I love them just looking at them here. I love the style. I love the I love the design. I love the style. I love the way they look on me in and out of pictures. And I just love it. And you know what? That's what I like. It's just what I like. So even though I love Bulgari, the more daintier pieces, uh -uh. it's just not my style. It just isn't. Um, Similarly, why I'm deciding not to keep the love rings. They're just not, they're, they're a little, I wouldn't go as far to say they're dainty, but they're not as substantial as I would like them to be. And the reason why I say this is because I have a different love ring, this one, that I'm keeping. It has diamonds in it and the, the, the band is thicker than the regular love rings, which makes sense because you know you need a setting for the diamonds. So this is a three stone ring. 
And I agree with everyone who says, if you get sensitive to nicks and scratches, do not get a love ring. <laughs> but it's a three stone ring and it's more substantial. The ring itself is more substantial. It feels heavier when I wear it. Um, it looks thicker. It may only be a couple of millimeters, but you know, it's thicker. And I love it. These, I love in pictures, basically. Um, but when I'm just wearing them by themselves, and I used to mix and match. Like, I wear rings like this. The two of them together on my finger. Oh, not this one. I have a, um, a rose gold uh, B01 ring that's just not here right now. Um, so I'll wear the rose golds together, and then I'll wear the, the white gold together. But you know what? It's still, I was just trying to make the Cartier rings work. And they're just, it's not for me. It's just not for me. And I mean, it's not as though they're horrible rings. I mean, come on. Let me put one on my finger real quick. If I can with one hand. So this is the Cartier ring. You can see that. It's a beautiful ring. Let me go away for a while. And it's that time of the month, so my fingers are swollen, y'all, but it fits, so. <laughs> but if then, uh, let me try to take this off with one hand. Oops, well, that's sticking in my mouth, but you know, you do what you gotta do. <laughs> this is the B01 ring. And it may not look that different to you guys. I love that it's more substantial. I absolutely love it. And maybe it'll be better if I like put it on. Uh... Ooh, is this gonna come off? There we go. Okay, then, so I'm going to see if I can put them on both at the same time. That might help clarify what I'm talking about. There we go. So, these are the two rings on me. I just love that B01 style. I just love it. Absolutely love it. And do you see it's a little, you know, it's a higher profile, I guess is the way you would say it. Um, thicker band. And this is the, um, these are both the thicker bands. Um, this is the 5.5 millimeter uh, love ring. And this is the two band B01 ring. So the B01 goes up to a three band. Maybe it goes higher, but I've only seen a three band. So I have the size just below that. And then I believe 5.5 is the largest love ring. Um, unless you go to the men's side, they have larger. So 5.5 millimeters is the, the width of the band, not the circumference. So do you see, this is just, I like the way it looks on my hands better. And I know Cartier, it's super popular and it's a fine house. It's just not for me. So yeah, I'm selling both these bad boys, the white gold and the rose gold. Now, as far as the Tiffany ring, again, it's a beautiful ring. Let's see if this is gonna focus. It's a beautiful ring, 18 karat white gold, the whole nine yards, but I just don't reach for it. I just don't. But you know what I do reach for? This ring that I got from a local jeweler. And let me just go on and put it on my finger real quick. This'll work, there we go. So these are the two rings. I like this style better on my finger. I just do. I just do. They're just, they're both very beautiful rings. This design is just more me. And this, honestly, yeah. It's that this design is just more me. Now, something else uh, that I need to bring up is that um, I've discovered, oops, this stays over here because I am not keeping it. I've discovered that I am highly influenced, highly influenced by a good deal. I will take a bag that I may not absolutely want, but I think I want. 
I will take that bag if the discount is greater than a bag that I absolutely love, but I don't find it on a at a good deal. What is that? That doesn't even make any sense. So that is what's happened with the almonds. I I know Vachetta is not my friend. I know Vachetta is not my friend. But <laughs> even though I love the Alma and I love the structure, love the structure of the Alma, I just love it. I found this bag. Y'all won't believe it. This is a 20, 2013 Alma and I got it, I think a year ago. And it comes with the clochette. It comes with the keys keys and y'all it comes with the doggone um lock too it comes with everything everything with this bag i have to be browsing you know my favorite place fashion file have to be browsing boop boop boop, boop. Pristi this bag is in great 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 condition great condition and i was like oh let me look online let me see what's going on here oops you know, it's the bottom, but you know, it has the feet. Found this bad boy online. Why was this $800? $800 bucks for a pristine bag. Clean on the inside, lock and key, pre-love bag. It was $800. Bucks. And I was just like, what? <laughs> it was $800. Might have been $795, but I'm saying $800. And obviously I bought that bad boy. Do you know I mainly only bring this out on monogram Mondays because, hence, I take a picture. Um, and I love the size. This is an MM size. It's larger. This is the PM. That's the MM. But the thing is, look what I end up doing. I bought two twillies because I got so nervous about the handle. So I bought two twillies. But this is still getting messy. And I'm starting to, like, to me, messy. But all it is is aging. I mean, it's just, it patina, it patinas. That's what it's supposed to do. But I'm using it less and less. And if I'm honest about it, even though I love the size, I love the shape, this, oh, this, the Vachetta, no. I can't, I can't do it. So now, this is a $2,000 bag if I go to the site right now. I found it for $800. And then on top of that, I had, um, a credit from Fashion File for, I think it was like $75 because of an error on their part. No, it was $50, $50 because of an error they made um, with um, something I ordered. They're very, they take, you know, I will say that about Fashion File. If they, if their description isn't accurate, they uh, take ownership of that and take care of business. Um, but if the description is accurate and you just didn't read it, you on your own. Cause that's happened to me too. But anyways, um, I just, I'm not, I'm scared to use the bag. Not scared, but I don't get pleasure. And for fine items, for luxury items, I want to enjoy the bag and I'm just not. So that is being sold. I actually have two. This is how bad it got. I got this bag, this Alma. Let me see where I can put it. I'll just put it right here. This Alma is from 2000. And I got it on a great deal too, but it was definitely more well, it was definitely, you know, used. And I got this bad boy, I think for like 400. Yeah, but the, the thing is, you know, the bottom, yeah, hot mess. But the handles, to me for a 20 year old bag, well, I got it. I got it two years ago. So at the time, it would have been 19 years old since it's 21 years old now. You know, that is great. And I got it for like 400, I think, 425, something like that. Oh, how often do I use this? <laughs> and then what happened recently? I gave it to my niece. Gave it to my niece a couple of months ago. I'm like, oh, I don't use it. And I showed it to her. She was like, oh, yeah, I'll take it. I went to her high school graduation a couple of weeks ago and I just saw this still in the dust bag on her shelf in a way that, you know, I could tell she ain't used it. So I asked her and she was just like, oh, it's sort of not my style. Child, I took that bag back. 
I was like, wait a minute. I'm going to give you an expensive Louis Vuitton bag. Well, I'm not. So I, gave, I took this one back and then she has the Speedy now instead. So I gave her my, uh, the Speedy. Um, and again, it's a Speedy that was, you know, the, the um, what do you call that? The monogram Speedy with the Vachetta. So I'm like, you know what? Let me go and let her have that because I want to be crazy about that. So the thing is, I have two of these. I have the PM and I have the MM. What the hell was I thinking about? Now this one, I use all of the doggone time. I love it because it's carefree. And on top of that, look at this. It's the same doggone bag. I got this one with the keys, with the lock. Was I just happy with that? No, I see this on a good deal and I grab it. What in the world? <laughs> but the thing is, at the time, I really thought, oh, I just love this. So I'm going to love it in a larger size. But you know what? Yes, if this was an Alma monogram, but it had treated leather of some sort, maybe the, what is it? The, um, the I've seen handles where the handles are made out of the, well, what am I talking about? I just got, <laughs> yeah, a, um, what do you call it? A limited edition locket. Uh, from the fetish collection from 2012. Oh my gosh, I love that bag. Um, but anything where it's not the Shetta, basically. The Keta Fischetta, excuse me if I'm saying it incorrectly. It's just not me. I just, I can't do it. So this is getting sold. Well, I'm actually, my mother's coming to town. So I'm going to ask her if she wants either of these bags. Um, she's more into jewelry, so I don't even know if she's going to want them. But I'm going to offer them to her. If she doesn't, then I'm going to sell them. Uh, but yeah, so yeah, me and bags have a better understanding of each other now. <laughs> me and Vachetta, no. Treat it leather, yes. So I'm going to sell those two. At first I didn't want to because I'm like, oh my God, it's such a good deal. And the value of these packet bags are just going up and up and up. And you know, if I wait another five years, maybe I could sell it for $1,500. But it's like, really? I don't, I don't, number one, I rarely sell anything. I think I've sold, I'll take it to a consignment store and sell it, but you're not going to get the maximum amount of money there because they'll take anywhere from 30 to 60%, depending on what you're selling and the value of the item. So then it's like, okay, if I sell it myself, that is a huge headache to me. I've sold a, um, one item on eBay and it was a very, very beautiful, pristine condition um, coach rogue. And this was like three or four years ago. It was a rogue 25 and black. It was wonderful. And I sold it. Luckily it was a great buyer, but it was a headache. Cause I was worried for like 60 days that somebody was, someone was going to try to return it or say, Oh, I didn't get it. There was going to be some kind of scam involved. I don't want to deal with that. So I'm like, you know what? Um, for this one, there's a buyback program. Since I got it from Fashion File, they do a buyback program where you can sell back items that you've purchased from them. So I'm going to sell that back. And then this one, um, I'm going to see if my mama wants, but if not, this will go to my local consignment shop just to get it out of my collection, out of my hair. I don't even want to think about it anymore. I am keeping the Twillies though, but anyhow, I'm rambling. So that's what's going on with that. Now, this is a big deal that I'm going to talk to you about right now. These pieces here, I was considering selling. And the main reason why was this. I don't use them that often and it's costume jewelry. Why invest in costume jewelry? Go ahead and just go ahead and sell them now while they're hot and then move forward. Uh-uh. I'm sorry. I love costume jewelry, particularly Chanel costume jewelry, even more in particular, vintage Chanel costume jewelry. It's just me. Um, for me and my luxury journey, <laughs> if you want to call it that, I want to thoroughly enjoy what I own. And for me, I like substantial jewelry, substantial fine jewelry. I don't like, you know, things that are more delicate. And I love vintage Chanel jewelry and more modern 
I want to say modern, but these are more recent. This is from the 2020 collection, I believe. And I like very like statement jewelry from Chanel. And it is what it is. Whether or not this is worth the, I think these were 700. Yeah. Well, now one thing I won't do, I don't pay over retail for anything. No, never, 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 never. Well, I shouldn't say never, but so far I haven't <laughs> um, that I know of. Uh, but like this necklace is gorgeous. These earrings, they're just gorgeous. All vintage, all vintage from the 90s, 80s. And um, I don't think I have anything here from the 2000s. This is obviously the 2000s, but I mean the vintage stuff. Because yeah, y'all, 2000 is considered vintage now because it's 20 years. Oh God, I'm old. <laughs> but you know what? I enjoy it. I love it. And I noticed that at least some videos I've been watching over the years, there's been sort of this tie turning, like where instead of, you know, enjoying costume jewelry, people are turning more and more to fine jewelry. And that is great. But you know what? I don't see it as a zero sum game. It's not either or for me. I love these pieces as much as I love my fine jewelry pieces. I absolutely do. I absolutely love them. These earrings... I can't really, I can't believe I really almost sold these earrings just because it's like, oh, I have too many Chanel costume jewelry pieces. Let me just go on and get rid of some. No, this is me. This is me. This is not me. This is not me because of the fachetta. The style is me, but this is not me. And that's what I'm learning. That's what I've learned. You know what? You need to enjoy you. And this is me and I'm going to enjoy it. So these are the pieces I'm keeping. These are the pieces I'm getting rid of. And what's funny is, I have this Vachetta piece, right? I don't worry about this at all because I got this for $300, y'all. <laughs> and I love it. And I wear it all the time. So I don't know why. Just these two pieces, I can't. It just makes me nervous. This one right here, well, I know why it don't make me nervous. It was $300, even though it's still a lot of money. But And I'm careful, but I'm not as careful as I should be with it. Actually, I should get put them twillies over here. Anyhow, I'm just thinking out loud now. <laughs> but anyhow, that's my video. This is more of a little, little chat, little chatty chatty. But um, oh, and I should say this is costume jewelry too. But this is um, uh, this is um, LV costume jewelry, and it's my first initial. So little LV in the corner there. Maybe you can. I think you can. Yeah, there you go, right there. I think you can see that. Maybe. But anyways, it's the LV initials. And I wear this every day. These are the three pieces. Boom, boom, boom. Now, some days I don't feel like rocking out all three pieces. So I may only wear this one or just that one. Or, you know. But I love the idea of the rose, white, and yellow gold all together. And that's actually my ultimate goal. I want to get one more B01 necklace, but in the regular gold. However, since I've started... I mean, that was my original goal, but I wanted all three pieces. I saw a, oh no, it wasn't a model. It was Zendaya, Zendaya, um, on the Bagari website. And they had her styled with all three of the necklaces all in a row like that. <sighs> oh, I loved it. I absolutely loved it. So that's what my goal was. But then once I got these two pieces, then I realized, wait, I already have a yellow gold piece. It's not precious. It's just costume jewelry. And while these are 18 karat, but I just love the way it looks on me. But anyways, I still may get that third B01 because that is the look that I was originally going for. Anyhow, y'all, this is chit chatty as heck. Oh my goodness, 25 minutes. Let me go on and get up out of here. <laughs> but I just wanted to go over why I'm selling what I'm selling. Just, you know, to give my perspective on, you know how I'm going about accumulating luxury and um, my approach. I guess you can think of it that way. Anyhow, as always, thank you for watching and I will see y'all in the next video.